this is Stampy, and welcome back to my let's play of Skylanders Trap Team. I am playing as a rather injured jetpack. <laughs> he was the uh, the character that I was playing as in the last episode for a bit. I basically meant to play as him, but then, uh, yeah, I ended up just switching out and playing as a different character instead. So I've decided uh, to switch back to him to give him a chance. Uh, but yeah, he is uh, a little bit damaged right now, so let's see uh, how long this is going to last. And oh look, it's Dr. Crankcase. He's right well, in front of me. hello there. My name is Dr. Crankcase, and you, you must be the Skylanders I've heard so much about, yes? No, really, I'm asking. Just want to make sure I'm talking to the right guy here. Oh, great, great, all right. Well, let's do this then. Dr. All right. Crankcase. Me against Dr. Crankcase. Hey, um, see what you got, pal. I think I need to get my health up a little bit. I don't think I'm going to last very long. Oh, no, he's just charging straight in. Right, the only way to really get my level uh, health up is by... Okay, forget it, I'm dead anyway. All right, let's switch over to someone new then, shall we? Tell you what, let's go as Lobstar. That is a, a character that I've always wanted to, to play as a, a little bit more. And uh, seeing as he's a trap master, uh, even though he's still going to be level one, uh, he should still be, hopefully, uh, certainly powerful enough uh, to do some decent damage uh, against uh, Dr. Crankay. So here we go, trap master uh, against Doom Raider. So let's stay back and start lobbing my stars. You see where he gets the Lobstar <laughs> name from. And uh, yeah, let's try and uh, take him out then, shall we? Oh no, what's he doing? He's gonna drop on me, he's gonna drop on my head. There we go. As able to avoid him and then I can go back and throw my stars aha the coward he ran away uh oh fill in the vats with go fill in the vats with go I'm filling the vats with go hey, hey, hey I just realized what this party needs barrels <laughs> yes yes drop my beloved barrel baddies Right, did someone say barrels? Luckily, I have a villain which has lots of barrels. <laughs> I can just spin in a circle and uh, take out all of their barrels. Oh, they got barrel bombs. They got barrel bombs. Right, I guess I need to either take them out quickly or just stay away from them because these guys are hurting me. Okay, let's go back over to Lobster uh, just because I think he moves a little bit quicker and then that way I should be able to avoid these barrels a little bit better. I guess I can just stand here and throw them like crazy. No, he's coming back. He is coming back again. All right, let's go and lob my stars then. And what does my other move do? I kind of just make steam come out of me. Oh, it just hurts him. It just hurts anyone kind of close to me. I think that's going to be a move uh, which is going to be better against groups of enemies. But these stars seem to be way more powerful. They do 56 damage uh, when these only do about 15 damage with each hit. And oh no, here come more of these guys. Right, if I use this steam tack against them, uh, that should be able to take them out easy enough. And then when he comes back down, oh, I'm going to go and start me. lobbing Speaking my stars bad, again. Guys, check this out. What the... <laughs> I demand that you release me! Hey! Ow! <laughs> he demands. That's a good one. Hey, I just hope we can be friends when this is all over. Oh no, they've trapped chaos! What am I saying? Oh no, I, d I don't care that they've trapped chaos. Oh, okay, what's going on? I guess I need to stay in the middle. Oh no, I've been gooped. I've been gooped all around me. Right, let's destroy the barrels then. If I stand here, I can fire my stars at the barrels and I can destroy them before there's a chance for the googlies to get out. Right, there's another big, a big row of goo dropping down here, which I want to avoid. Uh, but hopefully I can still throw and destroy the barrels before they come out. I think once they drop in the goo, uh, a bunch of goo monsters come out of them. Right, so let's destroy the barrels as uh, quick as I can, and then uh, as soon as a uh, Dr. Crankcase jumps back down, okay. I can try and deal some more damage. Oh, what's this? this? Oh no, he's building something. Oh no, he's building a willica, I think. He's building a, a wooden robot. Oh no, oh no, looks like I gotta deal with this thing and its wonky eyes. <laughs> right, let's make Lobstar live up to its name and start lobbing some stars and uh, see if we can deal with this guy. I know he's got blaze on his arms. Right, I think I want to uh, keep him as far back from me as possible. He's pretty tough. Uh, he's pretty tough. I've done lots of damage on him already, and uh, he doesn't seem to be too hurt. Can I take him out? He's kind of like a, a Frankenstein monster, the way he walks towards me. All I need to do uh, is stay out of reach of his little arms, and he should be okay. I don't think he's got any ranged attacks, and there we go. I was able to destroy him. Right then, Dr. Crankcase, how about you come down here and fight me yourself? Oh, Chaos is escaping. He's got out the barrel. Now, if you're just an oh, looks like I'm a little late to the party. The important thing is that you showed up. Now help me take down this Skylander, will ya? As fun as that sounds, I think I'm gonna leave that part up to you. But I would like to borrow Chaos for a spell here. Hey! Stop that! <laughs> well, if you can't trust an undead werewolf, who can you trust, right? 
guess we'd better get back to that big battle of ours. But I'm just warning you here, I might have to turn it up a notch or two. Oh no. Oh no. Really? Really? Okay, do not go on that conveyor belt area. Oh no, I'm getting really hurt here. Right, let's go and switch over uh, to scrap shooter then, shall we? Well, look, I nearly knocked him in the goo there. That would be a good way to hurt him. If I can knock him in the goo, that would be a good way to do damage. But oh no, the barrels, the barrels are all getting in the goo and now they're hurting me. All right, let's spin in a circle and try and take them out if I can. Oh, these ones are going to blow up. Oh, there we go. I was able to, to stay out of the way. No, no, another one of these big things. Another one of these big things are coming down and goo. This is getting tough, right? Luckily, this guy should get hurt in the goo. Ah, oh, look, the goo just gets sucked into the spikes. So if I stand here, if he walks to me, he's going to get put in the goo. Oh, no, no, he's coming down as well. This is tough. Right, let's go and stand over here, and let's start lobbing my stars if I can. There we go, I'm doing some good damage there. Looks like his robot's coming towards me, though. Right, if I go stand back on this side, I can start lobbing my stars, trying to do some good damage. Why is he not getting sucked in the spikes? That's not fair. I would have got sucked in the spikes. Oh, no, no, looks like Dr. Crank case has come back down again is he gonna get knocked into the goo there we go i was able to take out his robot but what i really want to do is do some actual good damage against him that is the way i'm gonna win this and he is getting pretty hurt now if you look at his health it has got down pretty low he's about to try and jump on me though i'm gonna try and avoid him oop that was close that was close but i was just about able to avoid him but oh no he nearly pushed me off okay i am getting seriously hurt here looks like it's time to switch back over to my villain uh, my villain <laughs> my villain uh, which is a scrap shoot who seems to be pretty powerful. Oh, no, no, that's me in the goo. That hurt. That hurt me, me in the goo. Right, let's go and shoot out some big barrels. Oh, they did uh, quite a lot of damage. And let's go and try and fire these. Oh, no, I'm getting close to the spikes here. <laughs> right, he's going to go and try and jump on me again. There we go. Right, let's try and push him back. Try and keep him away from me. Oh, no, he's getting he's getting right up into my face. He is getting so unbelievably hurt, though. He is so weak. Let's try and drop down the big barrels then and try and do some more damage. And right, he's jumped up. Okay, let's switch back over to my trap master. Oh, I got really hurt then. I got really hurt. I'm so weak. I can't let him hit me. I can't let him hit me. I've only got 11 health left. But look how much health he's got as well. He is so weak. He is so weak. He's going to try and jump on me again. There we go. I was able to avoid that. Throw some stars. And yes, I defeated Dr. Crankcase. Dr. Crankcase Oof, defeated. That was, um... That was a little bit difficult. All right, he seems to be of the tech element. So let me go and put in, in my tech trap. Try and uh, let's try and get another <laughs> Doom Raider. I did it. I can't believe I did it. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> a vortex. I've really been trying to stay out of those things lately. Ah, hey. Oh, that hat had only two more weeks till retirement. Dr. Crankcase trapped. Okay, okay, I see. Do good stuff instead of bad stuff. Got it. Exactly. You are now good, Dr. Crankcase. You have joined the Skylander side, so uh, let's switch out. And uh, I can now be Dr. Crankcase in battle. Woo -woo -woo. I love catching Doom Raiders. They are so unbelievably awesome. I can use them in Skystone Smash as well now, which is good. Yep, there we go. I can now use them in Skystone. Uh, so he should have uh, some sort of special ability. And uh, let's see how I did then. I think I missed quite a lot of areas. Oh no, I only missed one area. That's quite good. Uh, I lost some lives. <laughs> so I didn't get a special award for that. And I didn't get through the magic elemental gate because I didn't have one. I uh, got one of the soldiers. I did okay. It was an average performance, but I did what I wanted to do. I was able to, to get the Willico factory back and I captured the Doom Raider. Sadly though, the Doom Raiders did capture Holy Chaos, so I guess we're gonna have to try and get him back. Those punks snatched Chaos right out from under our noses. Well, he is kind of a little guy. No big loss though, right? Huh? Maybe. But what do you think the Doom Raiders could want with him now? Well, I just might have the answer there, Buzz. According to my strange anomaly detector, I'm detecting a very strange anomaly around the clock of Skylands right now. Whatever happened to the information squid? My guess is they need chaos for their ultimate weapon, so Wolfgang took him to the clock where they are attempting to change the very fabric of time somehow. That sounds terrible and kind of confusing, so we'd better go stop him. Okay, so it looks like we need to head to the clock, but before we do that, I'm going to explore a little bit more of the uh, the Skylanders Academy. As you can see, uh, pretty much every time I come back here, it grows a little bit more. It gets a little bit bigger, and uh, there's still a, a whole load of areas uh, that I haven't uh, properly been to yet. So let's go and uh, check out some of them then. So if I go over here, uh, there's a actually, there's that gate there. 
And that gate has been there forever and I still haven't worked out uh, what I do with it. Let me just go back over here and see if it's actually going to, to do anything yet. This here is a special gate, Skylander. Where does it lead to? Some very special places. <laughs> That's why it's such a special gate, you know? And if you want to check these places out, you're gonna need magic items to open them up. Special magic items? Oh, <laughs> exactamundo! Ah, I need special magic items. Do I have any special magic items on me already? Um, no, I guess I, I guess I don't have any spe uh, special magic items on me. It doesn't matter. I was just wondering if I could go through there yet. Uh, but yeah, if I go back uh, down here, I can go and have a look down the the back of the the academy and uh, see some of the uh, the new things that are that are over here. So this is the the main hall. Uh, have I been up here yet? Uh, who's this guy? Have I spoke to him before? I can't remember. Oh yeah! Rumble Club is back! Let's get it on! Ready to hit that Rumble Club again? Did I do this before? I'm losing track. Uh, oh yeah, I must have. I've already done one. This is a... Oh, this is the... Oh yeah, I remember this. This is the uh, where I go to do the arena battles. Okay. Uh, what I want to do is go back down this way. Oh look, there's, there's a lot of uh, question marks over here. I wonder what these are all about. Behind the fireplace, you found... Ah, this is where I can display all of my treasure. Okay. I found a legendary egg in the Phoenix... Uh, was it Sanctuary, was that? Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's go up this way. So I've been in some of these places, uh, but not all of them. That was the, the hat shop. Uh, that's where I can go and buy some hats. And uh, there seems to be another question mark here. Is this where I'm going to display some legendary treasure? Aha, the legendary L plunger <laughs> in the secret sewers. I can go and uh, display that up there. And I uh, keep going up this way. I cannot believe how big this place is ending up being. We've got a game room. We've got a game room all the way back here. It uh, looks like we've probably got some money hanging out in some of these chests. So let me go and break these open. Oh, these are some some pretty tough chests, aren't they? <laughs> that took a little while to, to be destroyed. And oh, look, I think that's one of the uh, the Sky Stone Smash people. Is this a place? Aha, this is a place where I can come down and uh, play Sky Stone Smash if I want. Uh, that's pretty cool. I'm not going to play that now because uh, I want to carry on looking around for a little bit. And ooh, it seems that if I am the life element, this is going to, to do something. So let's go and let's switch over to, to Food Fight, shall we? Uh, one of my uh, favourite Skylanders and actually uh, the first one uh, I ever played of as well. So uh, let's be him and uh, let's jump on this and see if it see if it does anything. Ah, I think I need to keep switching elements uh, to rise up. So now I need to be the water element. I can go and switch straight back to, to Lobstar and uh, then this should live up, uh, lift up again. But I think I need to keep switching switching them out until I get to wherever it is I happen to, to be going. All right, so I then jump on here. I then need to switch to someone of the undead element. Uh, so let's go and uh, switch over to Crypt King, uh, and then this should live up, uh, lift up a little bit higher, and uh, then I should be able to... Um, yeah, get to to whatever's up here. All right, is this the is this the final one? There seems to be some sort of walkway across there. A diamond! I was able to find a diamond. Uh, it didn't actually give me all that much money for all of that work. <laughs> I did actually expect a, a little bit more reward. And let's not stay as him because he walks so unbelievably slow. I do not want to fud like that around the entire place. So let's go and uh, switch over to to food fight and uh, carry on uh, having a, a look around uh, this uh, academy. Then shall we and uh, see what else is new? Those, um, you saw the, um, uh, the hot air balloon? Uh, I can use them to kind of teleport about the place. So once uh, I've discovered new areas, uh, I can get to them quickly without having to walk around. It just shows how big this place is, the fact that you need to, to kind of quick travel around to get to places. Anyway, there seems to be a, a restaurant down here. So let's go and have a look in this place and see, uh, so let's see what's cooking, I guess. Here is the kitchen. Hmm, there seems to be some weird element things here, and uh, there's going to be some money in here, so I might as well go and break this open, and uh, then let's go and speak to, to this chef then, shall we? Is it going to let me? Can I not speak to him? Hello? Hello? No, I don't think he's going to say anything to me. What happens if I, can I jump in the pot? Hmm... What am I? What am I supposed to do here? Oh yeah, I forgot. I've got Doctor Crankcase now, don't I? Let's see what he can do. Ooh, that's a, a kind of cool little move. The way he spins his legs around. He can also shoot lightning uh, from his hand, and he can squirt with his uh, little goo gun as well. This guy seems to be pretty strong. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with this uh, big pot though. Uh, or if there is uh, anything else in this kitchen. Oh look, I can go down here as well. There seems to be a, a few more things that I can break open. I'm not going to worry about them for now. Ooh, I can go all the way down here. And there seems to be a locked gate above me there. 
I reckon I'm going to have to somehow uh, find a key or open up uh, that doorway uh, to get something uh, something bonus. Um, okay, uh, this is uh, something that I'm going to have to try and work out uh, to work out what I'm supposed to do there. Yeah, if you do know uh, what you can do in the kitchen, uh, yeah, please let me know and I can, uh, I can go and do it. Anyway, there seems to be some more places up here. Uh, I haven't been in this doorway, I believe, yet. Uh, here we go. I found the outer walkway. Uh, this is where I was displaying my plunger, I believe. <laughs> so I can jump up here. Seems to be a nice water fountain. Uh, here's my legendary golden frog, <laughs> which I can uh, display nicely up here. Some of my legendary treasure. And then uh, there's another doorway through here. I wonder uh, what is going to be on the, the other side. Oh, this is taking me to the, the grand library. Uh, is this little guy down here? Can I speak to him? Yes, I guess I can. When I heard there was a new Skylander Academy opening up, I came as soon as I could. I, I want to be a Skylander. Buzz told me I have to read all these books first and be a little older. But I did find some places that only little guys like me could get to. Ah, do I do I need to? Oh, do you reckon I need to be a mini Skylander to get to some of these these new places? Then maybe. All right, let me go and switch over to Spry. All right, so now I'm a, a mini Skylander. Do you reckon I'm going to be able to, to climb up some of these areas and get to some secret places? Uh, I think that Dr. Crankcase might be a little bit too big, right? Is there any way I can jump up? Maybe if I speak to him again, is he going to tell me where to go? But I did find some places that only little guys like me could get to. Aha, there we go. Now I've been uh, teleported up. Can I climb ladders at all? Is it? Nope, nope. I can. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> My whole life flashed before my eyes. I so nearly fell off then. There we go. Yeah. Uh, Spry cannot climb ladders, I have found out. He can fly, though. I could go and fly over here. Uh, here we go. He can climb up this one. And oh, oh, what? He just like teleported up to the top there. And oh, a hidden area behind the bookcase. Aha, the reading room. All right, let's try and jump across here, shall we? And let's go and grab as much money as I can. It's good to get money, actually, while we're here, uh, because that way we can buy some more, um, like, uh, ornaments and amulets and hats and all, all of those things. And no, no, don't fall. No! I wanted more money. Oh, no, I don't think I can go back there now. I just fell the whole way back down. Oh, uh, that's just teleported me back to the front. That was pretty cool, though. Uh, that was a pretty cool secret area uh, that I was able to, to trap down. And there seems to be more things here. Right, I think I need to be snapshot here to be able to, to read this book. Do I need to? I'm not sure. Oh, is this just stories about the, the Skylanders? Oh, this is talking about how many of them I've collected. Okay, so this shows uh, all of the uh, the people that I've played as and uh, the ones I've not played as yet. And I've probably played as um just under half of them, I think. Uh, so yeah, there's uh, a few more uh, to go. Well, quite a lot more to go. <laughs> and uh, I guess this is just somewhere where I can teleport to. And ooh, another secret place behind a bookcase. Aha, right. Looks like we have a, another chance to go and do some, some good jumping. I didn't do very well last time. Let's go down here and try and grab all of these coins, shall we? Uh, I think I can only really have one route through. So I just want to try and maximize uh, getting as much money as I can. I guess if I go down here, I can drop back down and get any of the, the coins that I missed. There we go. I've grabbed all of them. And if I bounce up here again. Ooh, what's this? I found a thing. I found a thing. Let's match, 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 potato. Oh, it's another Cyclops teddy. These are cool. Let's put this straight on, shall we? We've got ourselves a Billy Bison. Let's wear the the trinket then, shall we? And let's put that on my back and carry on making my way across here. No, no, don't fall down. Don't fall all the way down. There we go. I did not fall all the way down. There's actually a whole load more money here I can get. Look at this. Have you ever seen so much money in your life? There is so much all over the place. Let's go and uh, grab as much of this as we can. Spry is going to be rich by the time he leaves this area. <laughs> and I uh, can buy himself a, a whole load of new hats. Right, going to make this difficult jump. And how high does this bounce me? Oh, oh no, 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 no! It's so hard to, to not fall off. There we go, though. I was still able to, to get a whole load of uh, new things. Uh, let's go back to the... um the courtyard and uh, see what else is uh, around this area. I do believe uh, that things do kind of keep opening up. Oh look, there's a question mark here. Uh, you found the legendary bubble fish in Rainforest Riviera. Oh, there they are. I got my little bubble fish floating around the place. This is cool. I'm kind of just decorating the entire area with all of these things that I found. Oh, that's to, to teleport me to the, the library now. Oh, so I guess uh, that if I teleport back here uh, from any of the, the places, uh, then that way uh, I'm going to be able to then go back there again. And oh, there's another question mark down here. 
I guess I'm going to go and uh, display some uh, more of the, the legendary treasure that I found. Uh, so let's go and uh, plonk this down here. Whoa! A huge cyclops bear <laughs> just floating in the background of the island. That looks absolutely fantastic. And I think that's something else uh, opened up over in this direction as well. I think uh, just right around here, uh, something seemed to... Uh, to appear over here that wasn't like literally uh, a second ago once I got back uh, from the um, uh, yeah from the the Wilkin factory uh, it was this place new can I make the job there we go uh, have I been through here before I'm not sure if I have I know I've been in an area similar I think I have been here before I guess maybe you can replay these missions after a, a certain amount of time but here we go Spry can now get even more money I think he is very glad <laughs> that I decided to, to switch over to him let's go and grab all of this as well and I can keep making my way up to the top getting all of this change i like this this is like a really old classic platforming game which uh i'm very bad at as you can see because i keep failing <laughs> but i still have fun jumping over all of these things all right i'm not going to worry about getting every single coin this time i'm just going to make sure that i don't fall off and there we go i was able to to make it and so what i'm going to very quickly do now is a uh, run to the uh the hat shop and uh, the oh don't fall and the uh, the guy that sells trinkets as well and uh see what new i can buy uh, so that way i can uh, customize uh, some of my sky and uh, yeah, give them some better attributes as well, just to make them faster and stronger and more accurate, as well as a, a whole load uh, of other upgrades. So uh, this guy down here, uh, he's the uh, the fella that sells the the trinkets. Uh, so seeing as I have a little bit of spare money, uh, let's see if there's uh, anything uh, good new uh, that I'll be able to to buy to customize uh, some of my my Skylanders. Let's see, uh, let's see if he's updated his shop at all since the the last time I came over here. Uh, what's this? Um, uh, oh, a lock puzzle key? No, I, I want that. I want some of the, the trinkets. Um, any of these look cool? Oh, the sunflower. That's quite cool. Let's uh, buy that. I can maybe put a, a sunflower on someone. Uh, there's that little bear. Lots of medals and things. Um, oh, lots of different hats as well. Oh, look, a miniature Skylanders hat. <laughs> Let's go and uh, buy this, shall we? I might as well just spend all of my money here uh, buying all of the things that they have. Uh, anything else cool? Oh, a storm hat. That was quite... Oh, no, look how expensive it is. Oh, it's like so much more than everything else here. Right, let's very quickly then uh, go and have a look in the, the other hat shop. Uh, I got 500... Uh, well, just over 500 gold left. Uh, that's my, my pocket money for my little shopping spree. <laughs> oh, dear. Sadly, that means I probably won't be able to buy any new moves for Sprite at the moment because I'm wasting all of his money. But it doesn't matter. At least I will look awesome. So here we go. Welcome, welcome. Here's the, uh, the hat store. Uh, let's go inside here and uh, see what... Uh, our magical hats uh, he has Good. for sale. Ah, let me show you my selection. Okay then, Hatterson, let's see your selection of hats. And ah, uh, these are awesome. There we go. Let's go get the, the archer hat. That's uh, kind of a, uh, a Robin Hood style hat. A rocket hat. This is cool. I like the uh, the look of that rocket hat. There's a cone hat. <laughs> oh no, I can't afford it. Oh, these ones are all slightly too expensive. Uh, let's go and just uh, get this hat as well. Uh, there we go. I've got a, a nice new uh, selection of hats. So I can go and uh, customize more of my Skylanders and make them look awesome. So let's just go and uh, put a new one on Spry then, shall we? One of the ones uh, that I just bought now. Which ones are new and which ones are old? I think all of the ones you buy are further near the end. Oh, this one was cool, wasn't it? The miniature Skylanders. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Oh, he's so adorable. So adorable. There we go. And he's even faster than he was before. Uh, there we go. So sadly, uh, we have just about run out of time in this episode. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed uh, yeah, the uh, the boss fight as well as me exploring the, uh, the academy a little bit more. As always, I'll be leaving a link in the description to the next episode once it's online. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!